No man also soweth a new piece of new cloth on an old garment. Else the new piece that filled it up taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. Mark chapter 2 verse 22 Jesus was not just speaking about a garment or a piece of material. He was speaking about a consistent habit that most people in his time were practicing. And even in today's world, we see people doing the same thing Jesus wonders about. Sadly, most of them read the Bible and they still don't understand what God is saying and is trying to save them from. No man who wants to start a new relationship starts on an old foundation. Jesus was teaching the disciples how to find a happy life by using such illustration. You can't build your next relationship when you are still struggling to get over your ex. I want you to understand that when you don't let a person go, you are only tearing yourself apart. If someone is no more in the picture and you are still trying to hold on to them, then you will be hurting yourself by trying to hold on to them. You must know that God always have a replacement for everyone who has left your life. You don't have to be needy of them. Breaking up with someone is not a sign that you don't know how to love or there is something wrong with you. No, it's not a sign. It's not. It's not a sign that you are not enough. Let me really say this. If someone left you, or you left someone for any reason then you must know that you weren't meant to be in the first place I know you thought that there was chemistry between you guys and you thought it was a Romeo and Juliet feeling but the true test of relationships come when there is a misunderstanding and if you people weren't able to fix the misunderstanding then you weren't meant to be with each other i want you to take it from me you have to stop holding on to what is not holding on to you sometimes it's not just about working into your next relationship but really letting go of the last one every new relationship that you try to start we only be a continuation of the old if you don't learn to let go of your old relationship. It's more painful when the one you call your ex has moved on so quickly after the breakup. You went to get something from the supermarket and on your way back home you met your ex and of course their new partner. And they were all laughing and showing affection to each other. And you felt like you were the one that was supposed to be enjoying that feeling. Listen, I want to tell you that if someone is happy without you, don't you feel bad about it? Because the worst thing you want to do to yourself is to keep an unhappy person in the same room with you. The Bible says, that it's better for you to be on the top of a roof than to be in the same room with a nagging woman or a nagging man. If they seem happy with someone else and not you, let them go. Thank them for all the good and bad times you shared together. Cry if you have to cry. Shout if you have to shout. But let them go and never you look back. The worst feeling any ex hate is to feel like you are happy without them. They still want to own your happiness 
And so when they see that you are beginning to find love again, then sometimes they will show up again because they feel left alone. But listen, stop texting them and checking up on your ex. You said you've let go of them but now you are stalking them. You said you've let go of them and you are still checking their pictures and liking their pictures. You still cry over them. Because you are still trying to connect to what has no power supply. You are still trying to plug into what has been disconnected. If you made a decision to leave someone and now they seem happy without you, don't you go begging them and showing signs that you need them back. You may look at their pictures and miss the moment that you were together. You may miss what you shared and it's okay to miss them and wish that they were there with you of course but you must realize that you can share the same thing with another person if you would give love a chance don't judge your next boyfriend based on your experience with your ex your ex was not there for you and you always had to force him to call you you would remind him to call you and when he will call you, he will sound like you are disturbing him. You shouldn't judge your present boyfriend with the same experience. Everyone is unique in their own way and they must be allowed to show what they can offer. Remember why you broke up with them at the first place and keep it in mind. When God wants to bring someone your way, He has to make sure that you are done with your ex. You can have the right one in front of you, but because you are so distracted trying to hold on to your ex, you may not give your present one a real chance. You may ask, what if I give them the same chance that I gave my ex? And he does the same thing that he did. You know, you should check the product in the store before you can even buy from them. And even when you have given the seller the money, they even have to cross check both the money itself and the amount before they can even approve your payment. We have the same scenario in relationships before you say yes to your next make sure you have blocked your ex make sure you check them out very well check them spiritually physically mentally check their history the list may seem too long but for someone who has had a lot of heartbreaks, this list will look so little, so small. You must test and try them before committing to them. Ask as many questions as you can before you enter. Don't you ignore any red flag that you are currently seeing. If they still have a very serious connection with their ex, Make sure you try to speak to them about it. If not, they may be in love with you but be distracted by their ex. If you know that you were very involved in your last relationship and now you have a new partner, make sure you try to lose or reduce the connection with your ex. Think about this. If you get back in love and he breaks your heart again, whose fault is it? It's not as though God is not bringing a warning right now, but you chose not to listen. God honors our obedience and when we listen to him, he never disappoints. Remember that God was the one who made you and he has a good match for you. 
Focus on the next one God is bringing your way and block your act.